Good morning everyone and welcome to yoga. I hope you all are doing well and staying safe. <clears throat> We're going to start standing up this morning in our mountain pose. So let's come on into our mountain pose and our feet are about hip width apart and our knees are slightly bent, our shoulders are soft, our hands are at heart center. And let's just reflect here. <clears throat> so closing your eyes and just relaxing the shoulders, focusing on your breath. So we want to take some deep breaths here to start the practice. So let's start by inhaling deep from the belly. So drawing the air from the belly up through the thoracic cavity in the chest through the throat, the nose, hold for three counts, two, three, exhale through the mouth, let's do that again, so inhale, all the way up, shoulders are soft, hold the breath, Exhale through your mouth, nice and slow. I'm just going to feel your body relax. Feel your shoulders melt away from your ears. And then relax your arms down to your sides. <clears throat> Excuse me. So keeping the knees nice and bent. Let's take an inhalation as you inhale. Let's draw the arms up into a nice big sunrise. Arms are wide, slight little back bend. Exhale, coming down into a sunset. Inhale, come up into a sunrise. Oh. Exhale, coming down into a sunset. Inhale, sunrise. Exhale, sunset. We'll do one more. Inhale, sunrise. Exhale, sunset. And then walk your hands up your legs. Coming up one vertebra at a time. The head is the last thing to come up to prevent any kind of dizziness. Beautiful. So now let's widen our stance a little bit, maybe a little bit wider than hip width. And we'll, as you inhale, draw the arms up and we're just gonna sway back and forth. So hinge from your waist and just sway. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, good, up and over and up and over and up and over and up. And so let's take the arms out to the sides and kind of take them around. So we're just going to be like, I call them helicopter arms. So twisting from the left, back to center and to the right. Twisting. Good. Good. Breathing. Beautiful. And then let's take our arms up around another version of helicopter arms just extending our range of motion opening up the shoulders and maybe taking them around the sides just feeling the shoulders the cervical spine and the chest opening up here maybe coming back in the opposite direction 
And then let's, let's incorporate our feet. So we're just going to do our little strut. So keeping the, keep, keeping the toes engaged to the mat, you're raising your ankles and you're bending your knees. So kind of like you're walking in place. And then we're going to continue to engage the arms. So you may want to take your arms up and in, up and in, out and in, or maybe you want to take them in circles. Just however you want to engage your arms. So we're just starting to get everything circulating this morning. So maybe you want to come around, great big circles. Or maybe you just want to stretch it out, bending your elbows, kind of pumping your arms and breathing. Good. Breathing, breathing. Beautiful. Maybe you want to add a little dance step, a little dancing motion, whatever you're feeling. Yeah, just getting everything started. Beautiful. Beautiful. Good. And then let's extend our feet a little bit wider. So our feet are pointed out laterally and our knees are slightly bent. And we're going to bring the hands to the heart center and do a few squats. So as you inhale, let's dip down, raise the arms up, keeping that spine nice and long. Exhale, bring your hands back to heart center, keeping your knees slightly bent. Inhale, dip down, raising your arms, good. Exhale, bring your hands back to heart center. Inhale, raising the arms, dipping down. Good. Maybe the next one you can dip down a little bit lower. So inhale, dip down, dip, dip, dip. Good. And then bring the hands back to heart center. We're going to do two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And hold. Hold for a couple of breaths here. Maybe feeling a little bit of a burn. Breathing, good, beautiful. And then come back up and let's shake it all out. So shake out your legs, shake out your arms. Just give everything loosey goosey shake. Beautiful. So let's come back into our mountain pose. Our knees are slightly bent, and as you inhale, let's take the arms up and slight back bend, keeping the knees bent. Exhale, come into a forward fold. Inhale, come into a halfway lift. So your hands are right below your kneecaps. Exhale, back down into forward fold. Inhale, we're going to come into our chair. So another little squat. Keeping the knees and the toes lined up together and breathing. Exhale, come back into forward fold. So keeping the hands here on the mat, we're going to place the hands in front and we're going to take that left leg back into a lunge. So our chest is resting on our right knee and we're breathing, stretching out that left psoas muscle. Really feeling it lengthening and strengthening. Good, beautiful. And then let's bring that left knee down to the mat. We're going to stretch out the right calf. So your knee is bent and your foot is flexed. And feeling it in your calf. Beautiful. Good. And breathing. So now let's bring the left foot up to meet the right foot. And keeping the hands on the mat, we're going to take that right leg back and stretch it out, resting your chest on your left knee and lunging it out, long and strong. Really giving that psoas muscle a good, long, deep stretch. Good. And then drop the right knee down to the mat. So let's stretch out the left calf. 
So flexing the left foot, feeling that nice stretch. And breathe. <clears throat> And then let's bring the right foot up to meet that left foot. And we're going to come up one vertebra at a time. The head is the last thing to come up. Good, beautiful. So now let's get ready to do some balancing poses. It may seem a little early for that, but I think we're up to the task. <laughs> so let's just ground that right foot into the mat. Feel the earth supporting you. Good. And as we put all of our, our uh, weight in the right leg, as you're ready, let's bring the hands to heart center and bring your ankle up to wherever it's comfortable. It could be here in kickstand. Just center myself a little. It could be here in kickstand. Or if you want to raise it up to, to your calf, or up higher above your knee, it's whatever you choose, whatever you're feeling this morning. So as you're ready, placing your foot wherever it's comfortable, focusing on something in the room, and breathe. Good. Beautiful. And then release that left leg your arms down. So let's ground that left foot into the mat, placing all your weight in that left leg. As you're ready, bringing the hands to heart center, lifting that right leg up wherever you want it. You could even draw, just draw the knee up. It's whatever you choose. So as you inhale, place your foot, your leg, wherever you like. Gently release the right leg, let your arms rest. So coming into a nice wide stance, let's place our hands on our hips and we're gonna hinge from the waist, come forward, keeping the knees slightly bent and we'll come down into ragdoll. So just letting your head and your arms be weightless. Then maybe let your head bob up and down or swing to the sides really strengthening and lengthening the cervical spine, which is the base of the head down to the beginning of the spine, that little place in between. And breathe. And your arms are weightless, your shoulders are soft. And then as you're ready, let's take the elbows into your hands and just sway from side to side. So bending that left knee, stretching out the right leg, then come back over to the right side, bending the right knee and breathing as we go back and forth. Just let your body free float in space. And breathe. Good. Giving our knees some love. Nice and gentle. Good. And then as you're ready, walk the hands up the legs. Come on up very slowly, one vertebra at a time. So this is going to be something out of the ordinary. We're going to do the joy breath right in the middle of the practice, and why not? So our feet are about hip width apart, and as you're ready, take your arms up, inhale up, out, up, and through, up, out, up, and through, up, out, up, and through, up, out. Up, out, up, and through. Yeah. 
So let's come on down to our knees. Good. We're going to have our hips and our knees lined up together. And our hands are as closely underneath the shoulders as we can get them. And coming into some uh, cat cows. This is also kind of a little rhomboid push up. So as you inhale, drawing the navel to the spine, curving the spine and contracting the abs. Exhale, release the abs, the head and the tailbone come up together. Good. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, release. Inhale, up. Exhale, release. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, release. Inhale, come up. Exhale, release. One more. Inhale, come on up. Exhale, release. So let's take that right arm up and out. As you inhale, we're going to draw the right arm down, thread it through the left arm, and either come down on your right elbow or come down on your right shoulder. And take a few breaths here. And then release the right arm and come back up into tabletop. As you inhale, let's bring the left arm up. Exhale, thread it through the right arm and come down to wherever it's comfortable for you. Good, and breathe. Wonderful. And then release the left arm, come back into tabletop, and let's extend that right leg out, flexing the right foot, nice and straight, long and strong. And by flexing the foot, you're feeling all the tension from your hip socket all the way down to your ankle. And you're stretching out the psoas muscle once again, keeping it lubricated and happy. Good, and then let's bend the knee. And as you inhale, take the knee up. Good, exhale, draw the knee into the chest. Inhale, take your knee out to the side. Exhale, bring it back down to the mat, good. So traveling over to the left side, extending the left leg out. Long and strong, good. Flexing the foot, stretching out the left side of the psoas muscle, and breathing. Good. And then let's bend the knee slightly, taking it up as you inhale. Exhale, draw the knee to the chest. Inhale, take it out to the side. Exhale, bring the knee back down. So now let's scoot the left knee forward and we're going to stretch out the right leg and come into our pigeon pose. So you can be sideways as su such with your knees bent and do a nice stretch like this. Or if you'd like to frame your left knee with your hands and rest on your left hip, that's always an option. You can stay here in up dog or you can come down into a cobra, or come all the way down onto your hands. So you discover what feels good to you, and breathe. Good, great everybody. And then as you're ready, let's scoot the left knee back, stretch it out, scoot the right knee forward. 
and either rest to the side in this pose or frame your right knee with your hands. You can always slide something under your right hip, give you extra support, whatever it's comfortable for you and breathe. Shoulders are soft. And then let's scoot the right knee back and come into child's pose. So you can spread your knees a little wider if you'd like and bring the arms down to the sides and let your shoulders just melt down towards the mat, either resting your forehead on the mat or bringing a block so you bring the floor up to you. And take a few breaths here and really feel the extension of the rib cage on both sides. Stretching the splenius muscles that are in between the ribs. Stretching the cervical spine all the way down to your lumbar spine. And then as you're ready, coming up to the knees, Arms raise, pushing the hips forward. Exhale, release, and come back into child's pose. Inhale, rise. Push the hips forward. Good. Exhale, coming back into child's pose. Inhale, rise. Pushing your hips forward, good. Exhale, come back into child's pose. We'll do two more. Inhale, rise. Exhale, release. Last one. Inhale, rise. Exhale, release. And take a few breaths here. And then let's come into tabletop. So spreading the fingers nice and wide, we're going to tuck the toes and prepare to come into our downward facing dog. So here we go. Inhale, push the hips back. Let your head drop between your shoulders. Maybe walk your feet out. Stretching those calves one more time. Good. And then let's come forward into plank. Good. We don't want to drop the torso. We're going to keep, keep our, um, keep as straight as we can. And breathe. Really let your upper body strength support you. And then exhale, come down into Cobra. And then back into Child's Pose. And we'll do that one more time. So coming back into Tabletop, tucking the toes. Inhale, pushing the hips back. Drop your head between your shoulders. Walk your feet out a little bit. And then coming into plank and hold. Good. Breathe. And then come down into cobra. 
and then back into child's pose. So let's keep our arms extended out in front of us in child's pose. Take a few breaths here as we pause. And then when you're ready, come on up, keeping the arms stretched out in front. I've got to get the hair out of my mouth. <laughs> and as you're ready, let's rotate the body back and forth. So coming forward to wherever it's comfortable for you. It could be up dog, it could be tabletop, or maybe cobra. And exhale, floating the body back towards the ankles. Inhale, coming forward, shoulders are soft, elbows are tucked into the rib cage. Exhale, float back. Inhale, float forward, good. Exhale, floating back. Inhale, forward, good. Exhale, float back. We'll do two more. Inhale, coming forward. Beautiful, everybody. Great job. Exhale, back towards the ankles. Last one here. Inhale, come forward. And we're going to hold here just for a couple of breaths. Really feel your upper body strength working for you. Breathing. Good. And then let's come on up to our knees. So our knees are hip width apart. And we're standing on our knees. So let's lace the fingers. As you inhale, draw the arms up. Stretch, stretch, stretch like you can touch the ceiling. Really stretch it out. Good. And then bring the hands back. Clasp the hands, roll the shoulders down your back, stretching out, opening the chest, lifting the heart. Good. And then we're going to bend at the waist and gently come forward, bringing your arms up to wherever it's comfortable for you. And breathing, opening the chest and the shoulders, and then gently let the arms slide down your sides. Come back up to standing on your knees. Good. So placing the right hand on your right hip, right below the waist, we're going to inhale, take that left arm up, push the hips forward. Head is parallel to the mat and breathe. And then release the left arm. So placing the left arm right below the waist on the left hip. As you inhale, draw the right arm up, push the hips forward. Head is parallel to the mat and breathe. Exhale, come down into child's pose, neutralizing the spine. So you can have your arms in front of you or down at the sides, whichever you choose. to our backs. Good. So let's bring the arms up, stretch them over your head, draw the navel into the spine, 
stretching out long and strong, like somebody's pulling your hands, somebody's pulling your feet. And take a few breaths here. Ooh. I feel like I'm growing a couple of inches this way. Good. And then exhale, release the arms down to the sides, pause for a breath or two. Check in with your body. See what it's telling you. And then as you're ready, we're going to inhale, come up, drawing the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Let's get back just a little bit. Forward fold. Inhale, rise. And exhale, we're going to come down very slowly, one vertebra at a time. So really trying to increase the strength of our abs, our core, very, very slowly and gently. And then take a breath here. Inhale, rise. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, coming down very, very slowly. One vertebra at a time. Good. And then pause, take a breath here. We're gonna do two more. So inhale, rise. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, coming down very, very slowly. And then take a breath here. We're going to do one more. And then we'll be through with these. I know you're feeling, I'm feeling it. So let's make this last one count. Inhale, rise. Good. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, coming down very slowly. Really, really make this one count. You've got this. Good. Then rest your arms at your sides and take a few breaths here. Whew, I felt that. And then keeping the pelvic floor on the mat, let's bring both legs up. Knees are slightly bent bringing the hands to the back of the calves, gently pressing your knees towards your body. So we're feeling this in our hamstrings, quads, calves, and breathe. And then gently spread your feet apart. Let's flex the feet up and down. Good. And then rotate the ankles. Just let your feet play. Good. And then let's bend the knees and bring both balls of the feet into your hands. Kind of
Coming into full happy baby. Gently pressing your knees towards the body. Nice, wonderful hip opener here. And breathe. Good. Beautiful. Really feel that deep stretch in both hips. And then bring the feet down to the mat and gently guide your knees over from the left to the right into windshield wipers, neutralizing the hips. And breathing. <clears throat> Good. So now let's bring the knees up and gently guide them over to the left side, spreading the arms, turning your head to the right and try a supine twist. And it doesn't matter if your knees don't touch the mat. You really want to keep both shoulders on the mat and you can always slide something underneath your knees. Maybe it's a blanket or a cushion. And take a few breaths here. Good, everybody. Let's draw the knees to the center and guide them over to the right and let them fall where they may. Turning your head to the left, keeping your shoulders on the mat as much as you can and breathe. And bring your knees back to the center, keeping your feet on the mat. Arms are at your sides, or if you want to roll the shoulders back and clasp them under your arm, under your, um, clasp your shoulders, clasp your, I'll get it, clasp your hands underneath. So as you inhale, let's bring the hips up into our bridge pose. Our knees are nice and firm and straight. And you either have your arms at your sides or your hands clasped, clasped underneath. And breathe. <laughs> so really feel this in your glutes, all the way down to your ankles. Hamstrings, quads, calves. And then release, pause for a breath or two. We're going to do that one more time. So now we're going to come up into bridge again with your hands clasped underneath or at the side. Inhale, hips rise, knees are firm and straight and breathe. Resting on your shoulders. Good. Breathing, breathing. And then coming back down to the mat, let's draw the knees in towards the chest, hands on top of the knees, and we're going to just take them in little circles. So massaging the lumbar region. And breathing. And you can take them from side to side, just whatever you're feeling. Explore what feels good to you.
So let's just drop the knees to the sides, pressing the hands into the mat, coming on up into the seated position. So we've got our legs either crisscross or if it's more comfortable for you to have your legs out straight. <clears throat> Always options. So let's place our hands on our knees now and drop the chin to the chest. And then as you inhale, let's take the head over to the left shoulder and then bring it back to center. Take it over to the right as you inhale and then back to center. Good. Continuing to stretch out that cervical spine. Good. So let's extend the legs out into a nice V shape. Give them a little shake here. Yeah. So inhale, draw the arms up. Exhale, float them over to the left. Inhale, float the arms up. Exhale, float to the right. Inhale, float up. Exhale, float down towards the feet. Inhale, floating up. Exhale, float down to the center. Do one more round. Inhale, up. Exhale, float to the left. Inhale, up. Exhale, float to the right. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, float down to the feet. Inhale, up. Exhale, float down to the center. And we're just going to hold here for a couple of breaths. Good. Breathing. And then walk your hands up towards your body. Coming up slowly. Good. So now let's come into our reclining position for Shavasana. Shifting from our sympathetic nervous system, fight or flight, into our parasympathetic nervous system where it tells us to relax. So laying down, maybe you've got a cushion under your head, maybe you have a bolster under your knees, a blanket over you, whatever is most comfortable and I hope that you'll stay in this position after we adjourn because it's so important to rest the entire physiology after you do any form of exercise. So, I want to thank you so much for joining me today and stay in this calm body and quiet mind. And breathe and enjoy the rest of your day. And I thank you so much for joining me. So until Thursday, right here, nine o'clock, continue to think peaceful thoughts, always speak kind words, and radiate as much love from your hearts as you possibly can. Namaste, love to you all.